Welcome back to Tech Badger Radio. We're going to be in our last uh, segment here of the show. Uh, next week's show is going to be put together. Not going to be broadcasting, uh, not going to be recorded live. It will be a live broadcast coming here out of the studios of AM 950 over in uh, Eden Prairie, Minnesota. And by the way, we do broadcast this out of a radio station. People ask me that all the time. For some reason, they listen to the radio show, and they say, do you do that from your house? Huh? Do you do that from your house? Well, some people I don't do like know over in that. my house. We do have a show that does broadcast from oh. our house. Oh, well, you, you know, I, you know the, uh, the the morning show on KQRS. Only Tom Bernard. Tom Bernard broadcasts from his house. Only, Only him. him. Only him. He's in his house. He's in his basement. Or he's hey, in Florida. And, uh, and by the way, on a little uh, radio trivia, a guy named Tommy Mischke, who is sort of my, my hero of radio broadcasting, is back on an AM station, 830. WCCO in the evenings. You ever listen to Mishki? No. Okay. I listen to... Let me tell you. T.D. Mishki. We're now friends on Facebook. Uh, has this program, the Mishki program. I'm telling you, there, there were times... I listened to him in the early 90s, and there were times I had to pull my car over because I couldn't see from the tears of laughter. Literally had to pull my car over. There was one time on 35, I had to turn the radio off. I was laughing so hard. This guy, it's, it's perfect radio. So glad, glad that he's back. <clears throat> and we'll be glad to have the TD Mishki on the radio program anytime. We're broadcasting live out of AM 950. But this coming week, we're going to be broadcasting, creating a radio program from Haiti. Now, I've got a technical thing that I need to figure out because I was robbed this week of my iPod Touch. But I'm going to solve that problem so that my recording devices are back in the game. <laughs> I'm going to solve that problem, but I'm going to be recording eight segments. This is an eight-segment show, as some of you know, and I'm going to record eight segments. And my plan is to try to record the eight segments starting in chronological order so you would follow the trip along with me. Wednesday, two segments. Thursday, two segments. Friday, two segments. And Saturday, two segments. And then that should be prepared for Grover to put together while I'm flying back from Haiti and running the radio program live. Now, you can follow all of that that's going to be going on on my Twitter feed, which is Paget. At Twitter, or you can go to Doug Paget Radio uh, on uh, Facebook or at DougPagetRadio.com, and you can follow along. And I would love to have all of you do that. And and I got to tell you, I have some mixed I've I've mixed feelings about going into Haiti this week. Uh, you know, this is the right on segment where we try to say, "May your faith bring us faith. May your hope bring us hope. May your love bring us love." And I'm I'm looking for that in Haiti this week. This isn't going to be an easy one from my from, from my vantage point. M- mostly because I'm an activist. And I want to see stuff happen. I want to make the world in the way that it ought to be. And uh, this trip to Haiti is going to pull on that tension for me in the sense that I'm going to be there. I'm going to see this great need. I'm going to see all of this struggle. I'm going to see all of these people in this difficult living situation. And we're not there on this trip in these four or five days to solve that problem right now. We're going to try to tell other people about what's going on so that they can come in and help these folks. And that's hard for me. I, I, it's, it's hard for me to say that, hey, you know what, I can't help you right now, but I know some people who might be able to, and I'll tell them about it, and let's see if they can help you. Now, I know I've been sharing that with people, and they're like, oh, you're just such a curmudgeon. You're even a curmudgeon when you go to try to do good things like this. And I'm not trying to be. I'm just saying that's the part that makes it hard. That's the part that makes it hard for me about going to Haiti in this situation is to see this kind of dilemma see people who are living under sheets, to see people whose children have been killed, to see people who don't have uh, the infrastructure in order to have a humane life and not being doing anything about it. It just, it just makes it terribly, terribly difficult for me to be going. So what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a little right on out of Haiti. So this week's right on is the good work for those who are actually doing things, for those who are on the ground, who are making a difference, who are making those kinds of changes. Now, and people are doing this all over. Here in, uh, in the Twin Cities, there's this, I see signs all the time for these big citywide fundraisers to try to give the, the food that's needed. They're packing food. They're bringing it. People are handing it out, and folks are getting to eat and that kind of thing. And I'm hoping to see that over and over and over and over. Just saying the hard thing for me is to be someone who's not engaging in that way. And this this is a bit of a discipline. It's a bit of a work. It's a little bit of effort for me to have to say, no, it's a valuable role to come in and see what's going on and to invite other people into that process and not being somebody who's actually making that difference 
right there at that moment. Grover, does that make sense to you? Do you, do you see how that could be a dilemma for a guy? Yes. You see, yeah, yeah, really. Are you just are you just patronizing me? No, I'm not. Are you, are you just are you just looking at me like, yeah, yeah, I well, can see that. That's really hard for you. You do a really good job covering all the bases, and you just leave nothing much for me to say about it. Oh yeah, I totally hey, man. Like, empathize with where you're coming from. <laughs> How can you go into somewhere that's you been decimated even like that and it. not do much about it? Yeah, I, I know, I know, and it's and it's going to be hard. So, uh, folks, if if you feel the same way, like, God, I hear about these stories and I don't know what to do, um, I'm hoping that I can come back and say from the good work that the people at Adventures and Mission are doing that if you were to give fifty dollars if you were to give a hundred dollars if you were to give five dollars if you were to give a thousand dollars that that money really will go to making people's lives in haiti tangibly better in ways that you would be proud of i'm guessing that that's the situation i'm counting on that being the situation and we all have to sort of live in this place where we want the world to be better, but we can't make it that way right now. That we live with uh, things in the world that are, um, are smashed, have fallen down, are broken. And we realize that we can't fix it right now. We can't make it better right now. So in that sense, this is going to be a good trip. It's going to be good for me, and it might be good for you as well to hear the stories that are coming out of this. So I'm, I'm hoping that you're going to continue to listen next week uh, to the program. It might not be, um, you know, I, I, I don't know what the quality of the, uh, of the recordings are going to be. I don't know how, how, um, uh, how the conversations are going to go with people in Haiti. Um, I mean, I'm kind of making this stuff up, up as we go along. I've never traveled into a disaster zone and tried to uh, produce a radio program out of it to tell people about what's going on uh and uh, so this is new for me and hopefully it's going to be um it's going to come across as as well as possible um so i'm hoping that you're that, that you're able to listen and even go to um f follow along online or i'll be given the uh the contact places next week during the show and again i'll give it now and that's uh, if you want to find out more about what we're doing and track us there on facebook go to facebook.com slash church to church and those are all letters, no numbers in that uh, Facebook.com slash church church. You can see the other uh, seven people that are going to be on the trip with us, and we're going to each be partnered with uh, somebody from Haiti and a translator. So we're going to be moving around a group of about 24, 25 people th throughout Haiti, uh, starting in Port-au-Prince and then seeing orphanages, uh, seeing some relief efforts, seeing some long-term development, seeing some education programs. It's really quite an extensive tour that we're going to be on. And uh, I'm hoping to have a personal connection with the folks that are there and try to deliver that personal connection for the rest of you as well. So we're going to be broadcasting next week from Haiti, where um, the theme of this last segment of the Right Ons, we hope, shines right through. That there's some things that are going on in this world that obviously aren't the way they're supposed to be. But there's some things going on in Haiti that are right in the way they are supposed to be. And those are the people that we want to partner with. So, hoping that uh, you'll stick with us next week and follow along all week long uh, in the installments that are coming out of my trip to Haiti. And for those of you who do this kind of good work uh, on a regular basis, may your faith bring us faith, may your hope bring us hope, and may your love bring us love. Doug Padger Radio broadcasting right now from Eden Prairie and broadcasting next Sunday morning from recordings coming out of Port-au-Prince and other places in Haiti with those for whom I'm going to know I'm going to see the kind of faith, the kind of hope, and the kind of love. It makes the world the way that we want it to be. Doug Padger Radio, religious radio that's not quite right, calling you to create the world in ways that are right on. Talk to you next week from Haiti.